Hello, I hope that you are doing well today. I wanted to go ahead and bring you with me on a project that I've been working on. We are going to make our very own winter weather scarf with tassels on the end. This scarf is simple to make, so cozy and stylish. I always try to use natural materials as I have done in my other previous videos and this one is the same. We are going to be using 100% wool yarn and this time I have selected the color choice of oak tweed. I'll also be using, of course, simple tools like some scissors, measuring tape, and I've chosen to use a 5 millimeter hook. I particularly enjoy the Lion brand Fisherman's wool yarn, as it is 100% wool, untreated, and really has a soft feel to it and the end product really comes out very nicely. For this project I've also chosen to use two skeins of yarn so that I can double up and make my yarn thickness a little higher. This yarn is a medium four originally but I have made it into what I would call at least a bulky thickness by doubling it up. You'll always start out by making your slip knot. Wrap the yarn over twice over your fingers Bring the end over first, then the second, and pull down. This will give you your adjustable slip knot. From there, you'll go ahead and make your chains. You're going to use the loop already on your hook, yarn over, and pull through. And you'll keep doing this all the way down until you get to your desired length. For this project, I'm doing 182 chains to make that wonderful and luxurious scarf length that we all enjoy. The stitch we're going to be using is our half double crochet. The half double crochet is very simple and we're going to begin it in our third chain from the hook. For the half double crochet, you want to yarn over first. Go ahead, insert your crochet hook, grab another piece of yarn, pull through, and then you'll end up with three loops on your hook. You'll then yarn over again and end up with four. Then you'll pull through all four of those loops and you will receive the half double crochet.
You'll continue doing this until you reach the whole length of your chains. Once you're done with this and you're at the end of your row, you will chain two and turn your work and begin the same again. Make sure you're not doing your stitches in your turning chains. So look carefully that you haven't included the turning chains in your new stitch work. Keep your hand relaxed and not pull too tightly because it will cause the work to curl a little bit and you want your scarf to be pretty relaxed. When you turn your work over you can very easily see those V's I'm referring to. You're going to be going underneath that full V rather than just one loop. This also gives it a little more security, but less stretch. So keep that in mind in your projects. Here you can clearly see those V's that you'll be working with. You'll be going underneath that full V as I mentioned before. I find it helpful to kind of pull upward on your crochet hook so that you can locate where your loop is as it differentiates itself from the chains that you want to insert the new stitch in. Here I'm just showing you a small sample of how it would look once you've started your chains and your half double crochet so that you can see how it would look once you start. I had already started my project but wanted to go ahead and bring you in with me so that you could possibly try one for yourself too.
Go ahead and tie off your work. You could also optionally weave your ends through using a darning needle or tapestry needle if you like. This would add a little bit more security as well. Now that you have reached the end of your work and the desired size that you would like, it's a nice idea to go ahead and take some measurements so that you can essentially standardize what you've done so that you can repeat it for another project or if you'd like to go ahead and make it for someone else, you can go ahead and replicate it. Now comes the fun part where you can optionally add tassel onto the ends if you like. For the tassel, you will simply grab your two pieces of yarn, fold them in half, and cut at the desired length of tassel that you'd like. Once you do that, you can easily use your crochet hook to string it through the desired spots on the end of your scarf that you'd like them to hang from. I chose to go ahead and add seven on each side.
I hope this has been an inspiration for you and that you will also try your hand at making your own scarf and other items that are useful for yourself and family. As always, do your best to become more and more sustainable. Look forward to seeing more videos on making items from crochet and how you can use them to care for yourself and family. Until then, stay well and I'll see you soon.